In this video, we're going to learn about which operations have the associative property. So complete the following table by performing the indicated operations by computing the results in the parentheses first, as the order of operations necessitates. So notice we have all four operations, and uh, we're doing two operations in each problem. So here there's two addition, here there's two addition. But notice the parentheses are changing the order in which we do the addition. Here we need to do 5 plus 7 first, here 7 plus 3. And this is the same for each of these. So we're going to look at whether the results are the same and what that means. So let's look at the first one. Here we add 5 plus 7 first and we get 12. Then we add 12 plus 3 is 15. Here we'd add the 7 plus 3 first and we get 10. 5 plus 10 is 15. And notice the results are the same, so I'm going to put yes. Let's move on to subtraction. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. In this example, we need to do the 5 minus 4 first because it's in parentheses. Well, 5 minus 4 is 1, and 10 minus 1 is 9. So here we had 1, here we had 9, so the results are not the same. For multiplication, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24. Here we'll multiply the 3 times 4 first, and 3 times 4 is 12, 2 times 12 is 24. So for multiplication, we did get the same results. Last problem is division. 600 divided by 30 is going to be 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Here we're going to do 30 divided by 5 first. 30 divided by 5 is 6, and 600 divided by 6 is 100. So are these answers the same? And the answer is no. Now let's look at our results from this. And we'll highlight as we go. Addition and multiplication both enjoy the associative property. This means a plus b in parentheses plus c equals a plus b plus c in parentheses. So don't be intimidated by all of the letters. Basically, this is what we saw here with addition. We could add the first two numbers first, or the second two numbers first. Regardless of the parentheses, you will get the same result. Um, multiplication also has this property. We can multiply the 2 and the 3 first, or the 3 and the 4 first. It didn't matter when we multiplied them all. In the end, we got the same result. In general, this is not the case for the operations of subtraction and division. Notice we got different answers when we did this. So this means that if you have a problem where the operations are either all addition or all multiplication, you can add or multiply in any order you want regardless of the parentheses, and you can remove the parentheses altogether to simplify the expression. So this is going to be very useful for um, when we're doing some operations and sometimes you want to do them in your head and um, multiply or add simpler pieces first. Okay, but remember it's only for all addition or all multiplication. So we're going to see that in the next problem.